Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvie and I will be your guide for today's lesson. Our topic is about divide decimal numbers by powers of 10. Probably, you are wondering about the steps in dividing numbers by one tenths, one hundredths, one thousandths, and one ten thousandths. Notice that it is the same as multiplying by ten, one hundred, one thousand, and ten thousand. Let's study this example. Let us divide five tenths by one tenths one hundredths and one thousandths. Let's start dividing five tenths by one tenths. So, we have to remember the division of a number or decimal by one tenths is actually the movement of one decimal place to the right of the dividend and divisor. So, pag magdi-divide tayo, ng isang decimal number by another decimal number, ang gagawin lamang natin is imove natin yung kanyang decim yung, de yung decimal point ng ating divisor. Gagawin natin siyang whole number by moving one decimal place to the right. So, same din yung ating gagawin sa ating dividend. So, kung nag-move tayo ng one decimal place to the right, ganun din ang ating gagawin sa ating dividend. Imove din natin ng kanyang decimal point ng one decimal place to the right. So, uh, tingnan nyo yung halimbawa. 5 tenths, imumove natin pa kanan ng isa lang. So, siya ay magiging 5. So, imove natin ang ating divisor pa kanan ng isang decimal place. So, magiging 1. Then, proceed na tayo sa pagdi-divide. 5 divided by 1 is 5. Therefore, the answer or the quotient when we divide 5 tenths by 1 tenths, the answer is 5. Saan is i-divide natin ang 5 tenths by 1 hundredths. So, division of a number or decimal by 1 hundredths is actually the movement of two decimal places to the right of the dividend and divisor. Since ang ating rule, ang ating rule nga is Gagawin muna nating whole number ang ating divisor then uh, kung anong ginawa natin sa ating divisor is same din yung ating gagawin sa ating dividend. So para maging whole number ang ating 100s, kailangan nating mag-move ng 2 das two decimal places to the right. At same din ang ating gagawin sa dividend, mag-move tayo ng 2 decimal places to the right dahil nga dinidivide natin siya sa uh, 100s. So, magiging ganito siya. Move natin, 1, 2. So, this will become 50. So, mag tayo ng 0 doon sa kapag wala as a place value holder. So, 0 lang ang ating idadagdag. Then, yung ating divisor naman na 100, move tayo ng 2 decimal places to the right. 1, 2. So, siya ay magiging 1 na. Then, proceed tayo sa division. 50 divided by 1 is 50. So, the quotient for 5 tenths divided by 1 hundredths is 50. Next, we will divide 5 tenths by 1 thousandths. So, division of a number or decimal by 1 thousandths is actually the movement of 3 decimal places to the right of the dividend and the divisor. So, mag-move naman tayo ng 3 decimal places to the right para maging whole number ang ating divisor. So, 1, 2, 3. Nag-add ako ng 0 as a place value holder. Ulit, atandaan nyo lang na ang uh, inyo lamang i-add sa mga nawawalang digit ay 0. Next naman, yung ating divisor, move natin ng 3 decimal places to the right. 1, 2, 3. So, siya ay magiging 1 na lamang. So, i-divide na natin. 500 divided by 1. The answer is 500. So, ang quotient ng 5 tenths divided by 1 thousandths is 500. So, let's try to divide the following decimal numbers. 
So, divide 96 hundredths by 1 hundredths. So, ang rule natin, mag-move, since hundredths siya, mag-move lamang tayo ng decimal places, to, uh, ng 2 decimal places to the right. Okay, yung ating divisor, i-move natin ng 2 decimal places to the right, so magiging 1 na lamang. At yung ating dividend, ay, ay i-move din natin ang kanyang decimal point ng 2 decimal places to the right, so magiging 96. Then, divide the numbers. 96 divided by 1. So the answer is 96. Next naman, 5 and 1 tenths divided by 1 thousandths. So, ang gagawin nating movement ay 3 decimal places para maging whole number ang ating divisor since thousands nga ito. So, move tayo. Ang mangyayari ngayon, naging div uh, whole number ng ating divisor. Yung 1 thousands naging 1 na. Then, yung ating 5 and 1 tenths ay naging 5,100 na siya. Pag nag-move tayo ng 3 decimal places to the right. So, 1, 2, 3. Then, divide the numbers 5,100 divided by 1. The answer is 5,100. So, the quotient is 4, 5 and 1 tenths divided by 1 thousands is 5,100. Let us divide 6 and 25 hundredths by 1 hundredths. So, since hundredths siya, tayo ay mag-move mag ng ating decimal point to decimal places to the right. Okay? So, yung 1 hundredths naging 1 na lamang at yung ating 6 and 25 hundredths ay naging 625. Then, divide na natin 625 divided by 1. So, the quotient is 625. Next, 37 and 2 tenths divided by 1 tenths. So, gagawin natin whole number ang ating divisor. So, mag-move lamang tayo ng 1 decimal place to the right. So, this will become 1 and 37 and 2 tenths will become 372. Nag-move tayo din ng 1 decimal place to the right. So, ang quotient ngayon ng 37 and 2 tenths divided by 1 tenths is 372. Next naman, if you are dividing a decimal by 10, then move the decimal point one decimal place to the left. The same number of zeros in the divisor. Same with 100, move two decimal points to the left. In 1000, you are going to move the decimal point three decimal places to the left. Okay, so ito yung pagkakaiba niya. Dahil ang kanina, yung ating divisor is a decimal number. So, nag-move tayo ng decimal point to the right. So, dito naman, dahil ang ating divisor is a whole number, so, meron tayong 10, 100, and 1,000, and these are uh, powers of 10 also. So, ang gagawin naman natin is i-move naman natin ang ating decimal point ng 1 decimal place to the left kapag ang ating divisor ay 10, kapag naman ang divisor ay 100, 2 decimal points to the left, then, kapag 1,000 naman ay 3 decimal uh, places to the left. Okay, so let us try to divide the following decimals by 10, 100, or 1,000 mentally. So, mentally, so first, 78 and 46 uh, hundreds divided by 10. So, imumove, since 10 siya, isa lang ang zero niya, magmove tayo ng decimal point, 1 decimal place to the left. Pa, pakaliwa ha. So, magiging 7 and 846 thousands. Yun yung ating magiging sagot. The next, yung ating 78 and 46 hundreds divided by 100. So, ilang decimal places ang imumove natin. Since ang 100 ay may dalawang zero, magmove tayo ng 2 decimal places pakaliwa. So, magiging... 7,846 10 thousands. Yun yung kanyang quotient. Next naman, ang 78 and 46 hundredths divided by 1,000. So, magmove tayo ng 3 decimal places to the left dahil tatlo ang 0 ng 1,000. So, ang magiging quotient ngayon ay 7,846 
guide the lesson in solving the problem. So the first problem is Mrs. Andres has 35,345 pesos and 85 centavos. She wants to give it to the victims of the Mount Taal eruptions in Batangas, Philippines. How much will each family receive if she decides to give it to 10 families? So, ang total amount na meron si Mrs. Andres ay 35,345 pesos and 85 centav centavos. Then, gusto niya yun i-divide sa 10 family. So, ilan daw ngayon ang mare-receive ng kada isang pamilya? So, syempre, i-divide lang natin yung total uh, amount na meron si Mrs. Andres sa 10. Dahil 10 yung families na pagbibigyan niya. So, ang sagot nga natin ngayon, Diba? Dahil 10 nga, magmove tayo ng 1 decimal place to the left. Pakaliwa. Isang decimal place to the left lang tayo. So, yung decimal point ay malilipat na sa pagitan ng 4 and 5. So, ang quotient natin ngayon ay 3,534 and 585,000. So, ang final answer, the 10 families will receive... 3,534 pesos and 585 centavos each. A. Next, what if Mrs. Andres decides to divide it into 100 families? How much will each family receive? What good deeds did she has shown? So, nag-decide naman daw ngayon si Mrs. Andres na yung Yung amount is hatiin niya sa 100 families. So, magkano yung mare-receive ng 100 families na yon? So, i-divide naman natin yung total amount na meron si Mrs. Andres sa 100. Again, whole number ang ating divisor. So, since ang 100 ay may dalawang zero, mag-move tayo ng 2 decimal places to the left. Okay? So, yung ating magiging quotient ngayon dito is 353 uh, and 4,585 10,000. So, ang ating final answer, each family will receive 353 pesos and 4,585 centavos. Let's try another problem. Jimmy has 50 cents in his packet amounting to 90 pesos. His 10 cents coins amounted to 12 pesos. How many more 50 cents coins than 10 cents coins does Jimmy have? So, ang tinatanong dito is kung gaano karami ang 50 cents coins ni Jimmy kumpara sa kanyang 10 cents coins. So, ang first step natin gagawin is we have to find kung ilan ba yung bilang or yung number ng coins ng, yung, yung number ng 50 cents coins na may amount na nagsasum to 90 pesos. Okay? Then, ilan din yung 10 cents coins na may amount na nagkakahalaga ng 12 pesos. Okay. So, i-divide natin yung 90 pesos sa 50 centavos. Okay. So, since ang ating divisor ay decimal number, so, gagawin natin, i-move natin ang ating de uh, decimal number ng 2 decimal places to the right. Then, so, yung ating divisor from 50 cent, uh, 50 uh, hundreds, magiging 50 na siya. Kasi gagawin natin siyang whole number. Then, kung anong ginawa natin sa ating divisor, is same din ang ating gagawin sa ating dividend. So, mag a tayo ngayon ng dalawang zero doon sa ating dividend. Kapag nag-move tayo to the right. Kasi ang decimal point ng 90 ay nasa dulo, di ba? Dulo ng zero. Dulo. Okay, so add tayo ng dalawang zero. Kaya siya naging 9,000. So, divide na natin ngayon. 9,000 divided by 50. That is 180. So, ibig sabihin, 180 piraso ang 50 cents coins ni Jimmy. Next naman, alamin naman natin kung ilang piraso ang 10 cents coin ni Jimmy. So, 12 divided by 10 hundredths. So, again, mag-move tayo ng 2 decimal places to the right. Sa ating divisor, so magiging 10 and 2 decimal places to the right sa ating dividend, so magiging 1,200. Then, divide natin yung mga numbers, so we will get 120. Ibig sabihin, 120 pieces yung 10 cents coin ni Jimmy. So, para malaman natin kung 
gaano karami ang 50 cents coins ni Jimmy kumpara sa kanyang 10 cents coin, kukunin natin ang difference ng 180 at 120. So ngayon, ang ating magiging difference ay 60 more 50 cents than 10 cents coins. So, mas lamang ng 60 ang kanyang 50 centavo coins kumpara sa 10 centavo coins niya. So, that is the answer. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned from this video and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you so much.